first start to AFC 16. Matthew Pilios here with former UFC superstar Vinny Margolis all the way from Las Vegas. Our third fight is Tony Deep taking on David Fowler. Tail of the tape, both guys 22. Uh, David Fowler, the taller opponent. Tony Deep uh, trains under Matt Tomkin, a great wrestling coach in Australia. Uh, four and two, a good uh, record for David Fowler. And Tony Dib, just the uh, one fight. We're going to go to this one to John DeMicoli in the centre of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is bout number three on the card. We are live at AFC 16, right here at the Melbourne Pavilion. This fight brought to you by Arkebrow. Three by five minute rounds in the MMA welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Standing at 185 centimetres tall, with an official weight of 76.6 kilograms, a record of four wins, two losses. Fighting out of Highlands MMA in New South Wales, ladies and gentlemen, David the Ferrell Fowler. Big round of applause for David Fowler. And across the cage, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter, standing 173 centimetres tall, with an official weight of 80.3 kilograms. One win and no losses in the AFC cage. Fighting out of Australian elite team in Tullamarine, Melbourne, Victoria, ladies and gentlemen, Tony Dean. Big Just saying a big ovation here for Tony Dib. And one thing uh, of Tony Dib, I should mention, he's the number one brown belt jiu jitsu in the country. So, uh, you know, it's still brown belt, but in Australia where it's still developing, it's a really good feat. It's a still an accomplishment. I actually, the, the jiu jitsu is growing like pretty quick in here. Now, I've been here for like a few days and I'll be able to like check some, uh, some academies. And uh, to be like a number one guy, like at a brown belt, that means a lot. Yeah. That's an accomplishment, that's for sure. Very highly regarded, that's for sure. The Tony Dib on the left with the black trunks. David Fowler, the feral white and red trimming trunks. Fowler, the taller of the opponent. AFC 16 it is. And this is our third fight of the evening. Do not forget our heavyweight title on the line for our main event. Brandon Sosola takes on the big bad tie to Vasa. Dib's got to be careful here in the stand-up, doesn't he, Vinny? Yes, but uh, I like that he's not shying away from a strike. You know, he already threw like a couple of jabs, and uh, you know, being a jiu-jitsu guy, that's actually, actually pretty good. You see that the guy's he's not afraid of straight uh, of trade punches. So, you know, that would be a good way for him to set up his shots and take what he wants to go, which I believe that's going to be the ground game. So, he's doing a good job of keeping the distance. He, he still like you know hasn't got hit. So, see it? That's what he has to do. Just stick the jab out there. He doesn't have to actually strike. He just has to set it up. Changed that level beautifully, didn't he? Yeah, man, I, I can't I can't can really like see a few transitions there, you know, as, as a jitsu guy, I could just like start to picture things happening there. And uh, it seems like he's going to go try to go for like transition from half guard, which is something that I like to do from there. But uh, yeah, he, he seems to be comfortable. Like, you know, you can tell like when the guy's comfortable, like even off his back, he knows exactly like, like what he's doing. He's not worried about being on his back. Some guys just get desperate when he gets to that position. He's not, he doesn't seem to be that guy at all. Once again, the number one brown belt, jiu jitsu in the country tony dib on his back here and i've got one of the best in the world next to me in commentary position in melbourne australia former ufc light heavyweight superstar vinnie margolis vinnie uh, talk to the fans it's a privilege to have you commentating about all the grappling here it, it's like it, it was a, he made some good like uh transitions there on the ground unfortunately for you know me being a jiu-jitsu guy like i say unfortunately because i would like to see something happen there but uh it, it, so far man like i'm looking forward to this fight because this, this guy he know, seems to know what he's doing on the ground really well deep happy to stay in the ground Bella telling him let's fight let's stand up oh beautiful body kick oh deep's gonna be careful oh some uppercuts have got through and deep some heavy hands back. I, li I like that part, like on David. You know, he's not, he's not afraid of like strike. Like saying, he's a jiu-jitsu guy, but he's not afraid of like trading punches. And it's, it's always fun to watch guys like that. You know, this is not 1993 anymore. You don't want to be just one-dimensional fighters. No. So uh, he's bringing the game. Ooh, uppercut just out of the way, Dib. The beautiful body kick also landed by David Fowler. So Dib's got to be careful of the striking. In his corner there, got a good corner. Jeremy Nam and. Uh, Matt Tomkin, very highly regarded in BJJ and wrestling. Dib seems, seems to be comfortable like on his back, but uh, me as a jiu-jitsu guy, I, I, you know, I don't like to, to play that game. Pulling guard, you know, I've done that a lot when I first start fighting. 
But uh, it's a risky game to play, even at the eye of the judges, you know. They already see you lose the fight when you play too much on your back, so it's a risky game to play. Both fighters back on their feet. That left kick gets through again. Deep's in trouble. Three or four got through the defense of Tony Dib. He got hurt by that kick. That kick hurt him, the body kick. He's in a lot of trouble. Fowler could have Dib in a huge trouble. Lefts and rights. I don't think Fowler realizes how much trouble he has, Tony Dib. That is hurt. You can tell that he's hurt. Like the way he's looking, like the way he's reacting to the strikes, he's hurt. It's time for Fowler to take advantage of it and try to just stay on him the whole time, you know, like don't let him recover. That left body kick three times already has landed in the midsection of Tony Dib. And again. again, he's in trouble. Fowler has to pounce. He keeps getting through. Dib's in a big trouble. This one could be over. Dib all. Oh, throws on Fowler, composed. Tony Dib in a lot of trouble. Fowler, oh, it could be over here. Looking at the referee. Yeah, that was not a good sign. He just took like a, like a look at the referee. Like, that was not a good sign. Tony Dib and the referee really letting it go. Fella now getting through at will. This is going to pick his hands He's up. He's in big trouble right now. Could be over any second. Oh. Desperately trying to get a takedown. Tony Dib is hurt, make no mistake. David Fowler, his takedown defense has been second to none. Tony Dib doesn't look good right now. Just the way he's reacting to everything. Like, you know, he seems to be a little bit off. Oh, oh that, that head kick. It is over. <laughs> a dominant performance by David Fowler. What a win by the Feral. And we have blood all over us over here. We do have blood all over our table right now. Unbelievable over our nodes. Tony Dib was a lot of trouble. I'm surprised the referee probably didn't realize how hurt he was. Tony Dibbs, big trouble. Look at the replays here. Tony Dib was in a lot of trouble. Called that body kicks, just pounded him. And that left body kick it just had so much sting. Took the life out of Tony Dib. Yeah, those kicks at the beginning of the end of, in this fight, you know, like a uh, really well timed kick, like there, he was kicking hard. Kick. And uh, just all the beginning of the end, those, those body shots. And Dib is just not looking good. Yeah, Dib was in a lot of trouble. And a huge win for David Fowler. The Feral continues to 5 and 2, a very happy corner, and why not? And. The, and the New South Wales boys have all won tonight very handsomely. Let's go to John DiMicoli, centre of the cage. Tony Dib still just about to get up on his feet. But a very happy David Fowler. Ladies and gentlemen, four minutes and 34 seconds into the very first round. This fight ended, declaring winner by TKO, blue corner, David the Feral Fowler. And bits can be round of applause to Tony Dib. Brought back for David Farrell. Firstly, one of the greatest nicknames uh, Vinny and I ever heard, but make no mistake, you're here for real in the AFC. Uh, your record goes to five and two. You know, you beat a guy who's uh, the number one brown belt, uh, BJJ. You knew he was going to always try to take you down, but the amount of damage uh, in offense you gave him was second to none. A huge win and no doubt one of the better wins of your career. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I train, train with the best, you know. I've got my coaches like Joe Lopez at Freestyle, Terry Ritchie's at Highlands MMA and Craig Sinclair at Groundworks. So, you know, I've got the best team behind me, training with the best guys. I'd uh, just like to thank my sponsors, Ambition Clothing and uh, Morgan Imports for, you know, hooking me up, giving me something to wear. The, uh, the AFC guys, uh, no doubt they've got some titles uh, as well. What do you like to say to the, the Adam and uh, Kelly of the AFC? Uh, we'd love to have you back. And no doubt you'll be hunting one day for an AFC welterweight title. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to be back. I mean, to be honest, I'm just having fun. You know, I didn't do this to become, you know, the best in the world. I just want to have some fun, you know. Small town of Robertson in New South Wales, you know. Not much else to do there. 
So have a bit of fun. Not much to do other than fight and do some MMA. Congratulations. You must be proud of yourself. Your stand-up was absolutely outstanding as well as your takedown defence. And uh, very proud. A big round of applause to David. The Feral Bower.